It's your boy Shift and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to create an Instagram pop-up tag on Premiere Pro CC 2017 and Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. I showed you guys on how to create the Instagram tag on my phone using Photoshop Touch and KindMaster and Pixel Lab, which is an app where you can make text and save it as a transparent and add it into your videos and whatnot. That turned out pretty good. So, um, I didn't get that many views on it, but hopefully I do get more views i think i got like around 40 or 30 something views i'm not 100 percent sure and without further ado let's just jump right into it so what you want to do first is you want to create a instagram tag so you're going to use your i'm going to use my rounded rectangle to rectangle tool so i can create the actual middle part of the tag so i'm going to do that I'm going to change the color of this to maybe a nice uh charcoal gray so like maybe here and I'm gonna click Control A or Command A on Mac. Go to your Move tool and center them both. Click Control D or Command D on Mac. And then you wanna make a new layer. So this one we're gonna call this, and this one we're gonna call this small square. All right. Now for this one, you wanna go to your rectangle tool. You wanna right click on this and click Rectangle tool. You wanna click Shift on your keyboard. And just make a small square like so. That's good. Now you want to also change the same color to this. So I'm going to make it like that. Then you want to click Control A or Command A on Mac. Click to your Move tool. Go to your Move tool. Click on Center and like so. Then you want to move this up. So let's move it here. And then we're just going to... We're just going to um, make it into a 45 degree angle so it can actually turn into a diamond. So we're going to go here and we're going to write 45. So that's perfect. Now we're just going to move this down. That's perfect. Now we're going to drag, you want to um, hold shift or control or command on, your, on Mac. You want to hold and select both of these layers, right click on it and click merge layers. And now you want to call this uh, Instagram tag. All right. Now I want to change the opacity of this for 90. You want to go to your text tool or click T on your keyboard. And then you can just create a new layer. And then just type it if you want. So I'm going to write at and then Swift, which is the name of my channel. I'm going to click Control A or Command A on Mac. And then click Control D. You want to click Control T or Command T on Mac. Click Shift and Alt, and just drag this down. That's perfect. Now click Return or Enter. I'm gonna click Enter on my Windows and click Return on Mac, and that's perfect. I'm gonna save this as a PNG, and once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go on Premiere Pro, and I'll go back to you guys once I am on there. All right, guys. Now I am in Premiere Pro. I have added the video in. Now all I have to do is I'm going to actually put in the Instagram tag. So I just created this before on Photoshop as you guys saw. And now I'm just gonna drag this on top of the video. So right about here is where I come in. And I'm going to just move this every few frames. So we're gonna just start off here. So we're gonna go to FX controls. I'm gonna select the media I want. Click on motion and I'm gonna scale this down. So I'm just gonna move this. Now we're gonna go a few frames. Uh, so now all you want to do is you want to click the stopwatch right next to scale and this next and and also the stopwatch next to position. So now you want to move every few frames so and move it with it and move the tag every time I move. I'm gonna fast forward this and I'll come back to you guys once I have added all the keyframes. <laughs> Alright guys, now I've finished adding in all the keyframes, and now let's see how this is. <laughs> that is perfect. We're just going to make it a little bit smoother. So you want to uh, put down this position right here, and you want to make this velocity. You want to make this really nice. So.
Let's see how this is. <laughs> Alright, now that is awesome. And that is basically how you create your Instagram pop-up tag on Premiere Pro and Photoshop CC 2017. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like below. Let's smash 20 likes on this video if you can hit that. Comment below what you thought on this video and what the next video to be about. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already for more daily content. Turn on my post notifications so that every time I upload, you'll be notified and you'll be one of the first people to watch my videos. Follow me on Twitter so that every time I upload a video, there'll be a link shared on that tweet. You can just click on it and you can watch my video straight off Twitter. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and swiftly signing out. Peace.